Hi, this is Tammy with Allie's Poor House. It is August 28th, 2022. Um, I am going to go back to my first love with pouring and start doing just some, some uh, straight pours and other pours other than the fancy stuff. I'm gonna do some really, hopefully nice um, basic pours. This is going to be a Galaxy Pour. It's on a uh, 12 by 12 canvas, level three, and um, I put uh, black gesso on it. That helps to make the paint adhere a little bit better, and it also makes the paint um, uh, smoother when it dries. So, let's see, I'm looking for one of my bases. This is, this is Soho Prussian Blue, and I'm gonna put it down as a puddle in the middle, right there. Hope you can see it. I think what I need to do is close the garage, I'll be right back. I need to close the garage door because it's causing, oh. well. causing um, light to bounce back. Um, well, I thought, but evidently it's not. Anyway, I'm not gonna talk much. I'm just gonna concentrate on doing my, my pour. I will have descriptions for all the paint um, in the description box, which is a triangle or a divot kind of thing at the, just below the film picture. And that's got the description of everything in it. So I'm going to try to make this one of the shorter videos. I'm using a cookie cutter, open cut pour, cut pour for Galaxy. So now I am going to start with, I think, oh, this is, yes, this is open. Nope, it is not open, darn it. Ah, oh, shoot. Maybe I'll start this one over. Well, I'll just take this off. This is Deco Art. I want a green center. Um, crystal green Deco Art, metallic. So I wanted a green center. I might go back to that one. We'll see. And I repaired all of these yesterday, the paints yesterday, and um, and I did some today, but it's been over an hour, so this shouldn't be in too much, uh, uh, there shouldn't be too many bubbles. I've been having a problem with bubbles lately, so anyway. All right, so hopefully you can see that, but I don't think you can. I need an overhead camera, don't I? Okay, so that was the green center that I wanted. Now I am just going to put titanium white in there. And I am just going to not, not, I said I wasn't gonna talk and I'm not gonna talk. I just wanna get this, this done. I haven't done a pour like this in a long time, so. I'm just gonna do this. I'll probably slip and talk some. This is titanium white here. And I just, I think while I'm doing this, I'm gonna scoot this over and move it back over. Um, so, here, I'm gonna put that like that. Maybe you can see some of this. I'm not putting very big layers. I'm gonna go with some browns. I can't help talking, can I? This is golden azo nickel gold here, which is, if you watched any of my other videos, you would know it's one of my favorite colors. This is this little piggy. Cappuccino, I think. I 
I'm going to put this orange. I think this is a fluorescent orange that I did. I don't know. I didn't label it. I don't. I've started labeling everything because I keep thinking I'm not going to remember. I'm not going to forget it, but I do. So anyway, that goes there. Then I'm going to put some Arteza pearl white on top of that. And I'm gonna lift this up a little bit. And I'm gonna put some black around that. I wanna keep a nice ring around it. Oops. There you go. That's black. Last of my blacks, so I'll have to do some more. I hope you're getting that. I've got some kind of a backwash with, with light. Now, I'm gonna put some green in there. Not very much, but some green. And then some more titanium white on the green to separate out the purple and the pink. I think this is my fluorescent pink color that I did. Pretty sure it is. This is a very light lilac color that I didn't label. And this is quinacridone magenta. Boy, that's just coming pouring out. Hang on, I've got to. Don't come pouring out, guys. Okay, this is ballet slipper. So, oopsies. Oh, that most of that will get poured off anyway. Ballet slipper. Then I need to do my blues. I need some more titanium white to cover the under layers of pinks and purples and stuff. And I think before I do the blues, I'm going to do, I didn't make mix up very much of this cap, cappuccino from this little piggy. So I'm going to put that in between. And then I'm going to start with some blues. There's, this is an aqua blue, I believe. Yeah, this the ska turquoise blue. This is, um, this one is Amsterdam sky blue, which is a beautiful, kind of chalky blue color. This is Arteza Pearl Glacier Blue. Again, as you know, that's one of my favorite colors. Okay. And then I think I'm gonna put some Soho Prussian Blue on top of all of that. Well, what now? Don't want much. Hmm, okay, well, I just happen to have some other Soho Prussian Blue. There we go on that. And then I'm going to put a little bit more of this metallic crystal green. Deco art. Oh, that's such a pretty green. And... I think that's pretty much it. So I'm gonna tilt this so you can see it. It's in the cup. They're all layered in there. And I'm gonna lift this up. I'm trying to get it. I hope you can see this. If 
you can't, I'm sorry, I don't know what else to do. Uh, I need some more titanium white in there just to... already starting to sell up. And I need some more base. This is black. I'll have to mix some more black. Let me just pour it out. Gold. I forgot gold. Yes. Let's end it with some gold on top. There we go. Okay. There we go. This goes in the bucket, and I'm going to put this. I need to move this back out here. This is base paint. I make it with, um, well, I was making it with house paint, but I wasn't really happy with the, uh, results I was getting. I just, so I'm trying it with just regular acrylic paints. And that's just darn well beautiful. Um, I don't know what to do about this metal. Let's try doing that. See how that goes. It's been a while since I've done one of these. Now, I've got it on a spin table. I am going to tilt, bring it back to the middle, tilt, bring it back to the middle, tilt, Bring it back to the middle. Tilt. Bring it back to the middle. Tilt. I don't know what that is on there, but it's going off. Bring it back to the middle. One of my problems is I'll get a really beautiful composition on here and I don't want to tilt all of the composition off so I leave too much paint on it. And that has been causing me some real problems with, um, with cracking and stuff because I just, it, it, it doesn't work if you don't tilt a lot of the paint off. And this is going to be really pretty. Get most of that paint off of there. Come back to the middle. And go this way. Wow, that, oh, those turquoises and stuff are just amazing looking. Come on, don't roll on top of the other part. Just tilt off a little bit. <laughs> don't do that. There comes some more. And we will bring it back to the middle again. So I'm pretty sure if you can see this, you can tell that I pretty much tilted off 
quite a bit of paint. So there we go. I don't even know if I'm going to spin this. I might. Could, I suppose. Let's see if I can get my hands more right pretty good, though. I don't know if I even want to spin it. I think it's really pretty the way it is. We can try a little bit of a spin. But this should hold the colors really well. Mm -hmm. I'm just trying to get some more paint off of it is what I'm trying to do. Okay. Well, that's just luminous, isn't it? Hmm. Just don't know if there's all that much paint left to tilt off of it, quite frankly. I think if this dries the way I'm hoping it will, I think I'm going to be very happy with this. So, I don't know why this paint looks like that right there, but we'll just play with that a little bit. Um, gosh, I'm very happy with this, actually. There you go. Um, I don't know if I'm going to do much of anything else to it. Can you see it? This doesn't do it justice as far as the colors, but they're really quite beautiful. And honestly, it looks like something from the Hubble telescope. So I'm going to let you go for now. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have a good day.